Lesson 27, Parsing Fixed Width. In this lesson, we'll take a look at whether or not a data set really is fixed width. The problem usually is proportional fonts don't look like fixed width, and then how to use text to columns to break this data into many columns. Okay, well here we have a data set that doesn't have any delimiters, there's no commas, no semicolons, and boy, it doesn't look like it's fixed width at all. I mean, look how the city just travels from here to there to there, back and forth, clearly doesn't look correct at all. But it turns out that out of all of the fonts that are on your computer, nearly all of them are proportional fonts. It turns out that there's only a couple of fonts that you have that are going to be monospace fonts. Courier New and Courier are two examples. So if we change this data to Courier New, you'll see now that everything lines up perfectly. So it turns out the data was fixed width, but because of the proportional font, it didn't look that way. Fixed width data files are very common if you're getting your data from an old COBOL legacy mainframe system. COBOL would say that, hey, the first name is always going to take up 12 or 15 characters, and if the name was shorter, it would pad with spaces. So we're going to try data, text to columns now, choose fixed width, and take a look carefully at the preview. The preview looks at the first 5 to 10 records and tries to figure out a pattern. And because we have a column here that's fairly sparse, the apartment number, it wasn't able to tell that that is a separate field. If there's a line missing, we can draw the line in by clicking. We can also move the line to a new place or delete the line entirely by double-clicking. There, I'll click to put the line back in. We'll scroll right and make sure that everything else looks OK. If for some reason we didn't need the last four digits of the zip code, we could add a new line here to break the original zip code and the plus four part of the zip code into two separate pieces. Click Next. Now in Step 3, we want to keep everything as text except for maybe the zip codes which keep the leading zeros. So here we'll choose Text. And for the piece that we no longer need, the plus 4 portion of the zip code, we'll say Do Not Import. Click Finish. And Excel successfully breaks our data into the separate columns. Now you'll notice it does not adjust the column widths, so we might want to come to Home, Format, Auto Fit Column Width. Well, there you have it. We have a data set that didn't appear to be fixed width, but once we adjusted the font, we could see that it was fixed width. Watch out for the fields that don't have values everywhere because it'll confuse the data preview. I hope you found that helpful, and thanks for watching. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons, self-paced personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each Live Lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.